Hello there everyone, welcome back. My name is HN and today I'm going to show you how to update the Questcraft game on your Oculus Quest 2 correctly. So, for a lot of people on the Discord server at the minute, you are having quite a few issues that I noticed, or you might have had a few issues where you're getting infinite loading and... The tutorials you've searched online are a little bit out of date. So as of right now, unless they change, this is the correct way to do it to make sure you don't mess anything up and it's really freaking simple. So if you are or are not on the Questcraft Discord server, on the Questcraft right here, you will get an APK which will make this appear in your unknown sources. There are plenty of tutorials out there to go and check out these sort of stuff so you can go and download APKs. But once you go and download the APK, this will appear. Make sure you get this off the Questcraft Discord server, as I said. Now, once you click on it, you will be asked to log in. Or if you've already logged in, you should already pop up onto this menu here. Now, here's the important part. With the Fabric Loader, you may be already on the Fabric Loader 13.3 or lower if you haven't updated your game in a while. Now, what you want to do is to be able to go and update it to the 14.8 version. And then in the settings area, a lot of people will already be on the third render setting right here. You don't want to be on that. Be on the first one, 1.14. So then... Once you've got those settings there, that is literally all you need to do. APK download, first setting, Fabric Loader 14.8, then click play. Now, don't worry with it, maybe taking a few minutes to load in because it does need to download resources. So I really wouldn't recommend pressing the skip button. But once you get that all downloaded, you will be on the infinite loading screen like this but if you have done it right you just need to give it a few minutes and then it will load back in to the game so we'll just show this and then you should see a red screen with some music kicking in the background and once you start hearing that that's how you know you've done it right and you just need to wait until the game's loaded so you can start playing minecraft pc vr on the quest then once you have done that and the loading is over, if it does take a while to load and it still doesn't actually show anything, the best thing you can do is reset your Oculus, completely power it off and then turn it back on and then do what you ju I just done again. So then you should be able to go and do this. So don't worry if the whole menu thing's a bit low like this, that generally happens sometimes. But yeah, you've got all this here, it's pretty snazzy, pretty cool, and you'll have a uh, little menu here where you can go and start adding all of your servers. So an example of a server that you can add is Hyperpixel, so you can put play.hyperpixel.com. Dot dot all right, and then just click refresh, and then bam, bam, bam. So then if you wanted to go and join a hype, no, not hyperpixel, if you want to go and join a Minecraft server, you can go and do that now with mysteries ahead.